Well, 2012 was a great year for young tech-savvy Africans. Their innovations and applications are driving the continent's economic growth. Many built their trade at technology boot camps. Our Paul Diho tells us about one in Togo. Young inventors from across the African continent are making their mark on the world stage as drivers of technological change geared towards finding solutions for their own problems. Ideas are turning into great innovations. There is an interest in all things tech and young people are finding that their skills are extremely valuable. In the West African nation of Togo, inventors from across the region gathered in the Togolese capital, Lomé. They exchanged ideas and showcased their latest innovations in their first ever technology bootcamp. The initiative was modeled after the African Mega Fair organization, which aims at providing space for African inventors where initiatives and innovations are identified and brought to life and promoted, where engineering whiz kids create prototypes of robots and other innovations using locally sourced materials, including everything from old radios, TV sets, car speakers, plastics, and plywood. Sam Kodo, a young Togolese inventor, showcased a robotic arm that pours a drink operated by a computer. You can put anything in the bottle, water or fruit juice, anything you want. And as you can see, there is a glass here, so you can pour the contents in the glass. Nigerian inventor Mobrahan Ajera says these types of events will help increase awareness about technology and give young people a platform to learn from each other. I think uh, it has started and uh, the, future is, the future is clear because this is more, I see this as a, a new religion, you know, and these are the early prophets or the early missionaries whereby we're telling people technology is living learn technology. So Africa is going to live technology. And I'm saying five, ten years. Many of those who participated said the event gave them an opportunity not only to see what other young innovators on the continent are doing, but also allow them to see how far they can go with the right kind of support. Benoit Vonsoir, a Togolese inventor who made a 3D printer. <laughs> This took me three days to make. I was really impressed. I didn't know that there were a large number of young people who are interested in this. In fact, what I have come to understand is that there are young people who have good ideas and a good imagination, but who don't have the tools to go along with their ideas. Guests at the event say they were surprised to see such high levels of talent coming from the region and the use of locally sourced materials. Organizer Sane Kofi noted that their aim was to attract more people to get involved in innovation and to solve local problems as well as create employment. I hear many who say that there is no work, so I'd like to send a message that this space is an open space where there's equipment to make anything, where there's a team, a team that can assist young people in developing any technology-related project. So it's really a place where one can create his own work. There are tools to achieve what one may want to do and any support they may need, all for free. Organizers say they plan to host the event in other parts of Africa in the coming years and to reach out more young innovators. Oh, with so many insightful innovations in 2012, it will be interesting to see what 2013 has to offer and where Africa's technology revolution will lead to. Paul Niho, VON News.